Uh, moving on to future watch, uh, we aren't talking about any specific draft prospects, but one guy that's been kind of interesting, um, at least in recent news, is Matt Savoy. So what's going on with him? Yeah, so Matt Savoy is a player out in WHL territory who went for exceptional status so that he could join the league full-time a year early. Uh, he was not given that exceptional status by Hockey Canada, and uh, I guess Hockey Alberta would be the other governing body involved. And so shortly thereafter, he committed to the University of Denver. Then he was taken first overall by the Winnipeg Ice, also previously known as the Kootenai Ice. And then Matt Savoy went to uh, a rookie camp, training camp, whatever you want to call it, with the USHL Dubuque Fighting Saints. And then all of a sudden, the WHL, uh, it seems has cleared up something that Savoy could play more than the standard five or six games next year in the dub. Because in the WHL, they have a bantam draft. So unlike the OHL and the Quebec League, when you get drafted, you actually go back to the minors in your home province or wherever you're playing. And you play another year, and then you go to the WHL the year after that. Now, in that first year, you're allowed to play a handful of games to get your feet wet, see what it's all about. Essentially, exceptional status would have allowed Savoy to play the whole year. Now we're hearing it might be 40, maybe even 50 games next year. And from my That's understanding... That's the season! It's basically That's the, the season. season! What yeah. do you got, a 70-game schedule? <laughs> it's, 68? Uh, it's up there. It's 68 up there. or 70? Yeah. That's the season! Yeah. So, so they're basically they're basically like, excuse, they're going around. Please, yeah, they're 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 doing an end around around Hockey Canada. Yeah, because this is this was not this was not the WHL's decision. No, it was the, not. The the the, uh, the exceptional status was not the WHL's decision. It was Correct. Hockey Canada's decision, Correct. right? Yeah, right. So, so they're basically doing an end around around the around Hockey Canada. Yes, and what I've been told officially is that <clears throat> you know there are exceptions in place for 15 year olds. Now, there is actually a recent example of this. Kirby Doc, who uh, is up for the draft this year, when he was in his, uh, I guess, midget year, the Saskatoon Blades ran into some really bad injury problems. So instead of Doc playing five or six games, he ended up playing 19. Um, so that is an example of an exception. Given Guess to what? Fifteen. Year Guess old. what? Player X for the Winnipeg Ice. Yeah. Guess what? You're injured. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody. You're hurt really bad. Yeah, Everybody. That's a concussion. You're done. Yep. Everybody's an upper body injury. So the me- the mechanics are there to make this happen, and obviously the WHL wanted Matthew Savoy to play in their league since he was taken first overall in the Bantam draft, and it seems like. Uh, they've figured out a way for him to play more than just a handful of games. He should have gotten it anyways. He should have. He should have gotten exceptional and status sh- anyways. Yeah. yeah, he and Shane Wright are pretty much on an even level. And I'd yeah. say at the Canada Winter Games, we saw Savoy play just as good as Shane Wright. Mm-hmm. And this is, we're talking like 2022 NHL draft at this point. We yeah. are, yes. Yeah, so yeah. it's still qu- quite a bit away. Yeah. We also have Brad Lambert from Finland, you know, the most Finnish name you're ever going to hear of, yeah. who's another <laughs> top prospect. <laughs> That's pretty much how we all thought. Uh, it's going to be a really strong draft that we're looking at. Mm. It. And just to point out how good Savoy is, like this is a guy that was dominating kids much older than him. Yeah, like, and it would have yeah. been a big black eye for the dub if he had gone NCAA. Yeah, but we also kind of, thought like he wasn't actually going to play in the NCAA. It was more of like a cover up, smoke and mirrors, like give me what I want type thing. That's kind of how we looked at it. We can speculate. Yeah, and the next on the docket, Connor Bedard. That's they're gonna right. Have to de- they're going to have to deal with this all, over, all again. over again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and like, again, like these are these are special players. Like, Jack Hughes was denied exceptional status. <laughs> <laughs> how that Yeah, I'm, I'm sure the OHL's really <laughs> thrilled about that. Because I, you and I sat in Jack Hughes' kitchen yeah. A couple of months ago yeah. and talked to him about that. Did you not get the impression that he wanted to play in the worst way <laughs> in the Ontario oh, Hockey yeah. League? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Which we, is crazy because he went out and put out some records with a, such a strong team. So yeah. it worked yeah. out, I guess, in his favor. But uh, to say that, I don't know. Well, just, who's to say that he wouldn't have been a stud in the OHL? Well, he would have been. Oh, we got it. Oh, yeah. Here, bring it over. Hot off the presses. Oh, look at that. This is look huge. Look at this. Glorious. Glorious. So this is our new issue. I think you want this issue. <laughs> You're going to want this. This is, a, first off, a fantastic cover. Shay did a yeah. great job with this. Uh, and we cover pretty much every league you possibly want. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, you did a cover. St- you did a story on Jordan Bennington, correct? I did. Yes. I did, as a matter of fact. A, a deep dive, if you will. Mm-hmm. Talked to a lot of people from his 
his past and present. Uh, he's not the most talkative guy in the world. No, nope, not at all. Um, but uh, but he's interesting. I, I the whole part of the theme of the story was you know hopefully we're going to get to know this guy a little bit better over the next few years because mm. I think he's pretty interesting. But he's not he's not putting himself out there much. Yep. So this was delivered hand hand delivered by uh, Graham Rooston and uh, our new producer for today, David. So uh, thank you everybody. This is a. Uh, this is pretty cool. This is a nice magazine. Yeah, I'm going to go now. I want to read this. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. I think you had something to do with it. 